all you need to remember is that such oh my god guys like comes from inertia. Inertia. Yeah, yes. effective inertia that test is going to be such a nightmare so. um i haven't even started studying for it and it's going to drop my average down to like so much oh hi ollie what's up man um i didn't even say hi um hi we're just studying for a physics test so what's your average i don't Oh, it's a 94. Oh. Mm -hmm. You guys see Red Carnations last night? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, I haven't actually. We actually need to go do something. Yeah. yeah. We're gonna leave. We should go. Oh, Rory. Oh, oh my god, Rory. Oh my god, I haven't seen you all forever. How are you? Oh, we're just starting to she doing and can she stop fiddling so we can just get this project over with i don't even want to be here this is the most dry conversation i have ever had with somebody this is so strange ollie has always been the kid to never shut up no matter how many hints you throw at them when did they take a vow of silence and why did they choose me as their first victim i refuse to initiate any conversation i'll show her i am not the social tryhard that everyone claims i am what do i do to make this less awkward should I talk about myself? Talking about myself is quite literally my worst nightmare. I prefer to be a listener. Everybody loves a good listener. Is she okay? You know, um, I had a pretty eventful morning. Um, I was doing my normal morning routine. I kind of like this. Wait, wait, you know this book? Oh yeah, I, mean, I really like the author, but like, I did not like that book. The ending was too sad. Sad? I mean, yeah. At the end, all she did was just become this popular person and not even be her authentic self. The whole point of the book was for her to stop being chameleon and be herself, and that's exactly what she didn't do. I was really disappointed in her. I mean, yeah, but she was like super popular. I mean, she had all these friends, and I mean, people would kill for that. I know I would, but that kind of stuff requires sacrifice. We're a lot more alike than you think. Yeah. Sure. 
were so close. I mean, yeah, ew. <laughs> no, literally, she's so clingy and annoying. Like, I don't even know how to get her out of me, like. I guess we are getting kind of close, but that's not what's intended at all. She knows things about me that no one else does. I've never been so vulnerable with anyone before. Why is that so scary? I can't let this go any further. So, hi, uh, I just wanted to let you know that um, I really enjoy working with you. Thank you. Yeah, of course. I enjoy working with you too. Yeah, um, look, I know this doesn't come as like a shock or anything, but I've never been good at making friends. And yeah, thank you. Um, it's been a really memorable month. Yeah. It definitely love to remember. Um, I have to go, but um, bye. Uh, text me. My whole life, I found myself constantly seeking other people out. No one else seeks me out. I know it has to do with the times when I say or do the wrong things, but I don't know what they are or when I'm doing it. I just always get hit with that facial reaction. The one that lets me know the person is about to say a new excuse to go away. Look, it's one thing for people who don't know you in the slightest, not to like you or acknowledge your existence, but when you find that one person who really knows you and they still couldn't care less about you, I mean, that's a new type of burning.